how to use transpose function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explained video series, I'm going to show you how you can use the transpose function to convert a column into row or a row into column in Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> So we are going to talk about transpose function today. Now transpose means two or more things change their places. Okay. So in this case, we are going to change the places of this data range from vertical to horizontal. Okay. Now I have already covered this in another tutorial. You can check that also, but I want you to focus on this one because this is a dynamic way to change column data into row or row to Column. okay now let's apply the function and while I'm applying the function I will explain the parameters and how you should use this function okay now the transpose function is an array function okay now an array function is something that performs multiple calculations okay now what we are going to do is change this data from vertical to horizontal so we are going to change their places from vertical to horizontal and also we are going to make sure this data aligns each other okay so unless you are using excel 365 you will have to select the data range remember we have here five row and two columns okay so we will have to select two row and five columns here okay otherwise this data won't match here so we have selected the data range that we wanted the new data to be placed and now while selecting it write transpose and start with equal so equal write transpose you can see this is the transpose function double click here and now there is only one parameter here which is array and i'm going to select the data range here now i can close parentheses or not whatever i want i can do it but there is a difference here in general whenever you write a function you simply press enter and it's done but here as this is an array function you will have to press ctrl shift and then enter so you can see our data has been converted from vertical to horizontal data range okay now let me align this okay so when we have pressed ctrl shift and then enter it simply adds second bracket here okay you can see here this is the second bracket now one of the amazing thing of transpose function is that if you change the data here and press enter here we have our data changed automatically that means it's a dynamic data range so this is how you use transpose function to convert column to rows or to convert data from vertical to horizontal okay now what if you need to convert from horizontal to vertical let's see that again now here we have data range here which is five column and two row and we are going to convert it vertically so we need to select five row and two column okay now while we selecting it press equal and then write transpose so this is our transpose function and we have only one parameter which is array and now if we select it and press ctrl shift and enter and you can see our data has been transferred from horizontal to vertical so this is how you can use transpose function to convert your vertical data to horizontal and vice versa okay and this is a dynamic function so whenever you delete the main data range here your conversion data race is erased so this is a problem here and i have already showed another way to transpose vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical data range and which you can see here and that is a static conversion so if you delete any of the data or any data range it won't change the other okay so if you need something static so you just only convert from here to here and you want to delete this data so you can check the video i have linked here okay so thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and i would like to thank all those new patrons who are supporting my channel on patreon.com and if you are interested you can check that here also thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.